Hey guys, it is one half of Mint Metal Horses, and today I am doing my part of our Briarfest haul. Um, yeah, I will um, explain when I got these horses. Um, it's kind of like a weird mixture of like things I've gotten since the beginning of um, 2121 leading up to Briarfest. Um, so there's quite a few things like regular runs and stuff that aren't included in this video. Um, but um, yeah, this video is mostly just like the cool things. Um, so yeah, won't bore you with the boring stuff, but um, let's just get started. Um, I'm gonna go to my Briarfest stuff last and this other stuff will be like secondhand purchases and other things. So first we have Fireheart here. Um, I got him in the first batch before Briarfest. So um, yeah, he is super pretty. Let me see if I can get some good light on him. There we go. Um, yeah, he's really cute. Um, mine has a lot of factory flaws. Um, he's got a huge, he's got a few huge seams in his mane and black marks everywhere, <laughs> shiny marks. Um, he has a pretty big shiny mark on this side too, but I don't know if you can see it. Um, but other than that, he's really pretty. Um, not my favorite, he's huge. Um, so I'm really looking forward to hopefully Astrid being smaller, but yeah, that's Fireheart. Moving on to Stablemates, um, these five are all um, the Briarfest, uh, the best of Briarfest Stablemates from this year. Um, they were super cute. Turn this guy over. And then the last one, Tom Thumb. Well, that, not the last one, but Nottingham is the last one. I, I, I don't remember what their Stablemate names are, I just remember the um, the traditionals. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's the mini Nottingham. And then I got like super into this mold. Um, so I was like, okay, I have to have this thing. And then I was able to trade my little, um, I forgot what his name was, Prince or something. I don't know. The, um, the, oh my gosh, why can I not? Oh, the Premier Club stable mate from last year, the, um, the Fjord. I traded for this guy. I don't remember his name for some reason. Um, and then I picked up Kaleidoscope, who is super cute. Focus. Yeah, he's super cute. Um, and that's all of my stable mates. Um, I guess we'll go this way. This is Rockwell. He is my first, like, nice-ish. Um, which I've been wanting a nice ish for forever and I've always loved this braided mane. Um, so I found this guy on Instagram. Well, yeah, I found him for sale on Instagram. I don't remember the person's username. <laughs> Sorry, there's a hair on my screen. Um, but he is super pretty. He has really nice dapples. He's glossy. Um, he's got like the cutest face. I did post, um, nicer pictures of him, of him for Equilocity. Um, he's got something inside of him, apparently. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys could hear that. Wait. Nice. Well, he's super cute. His OF name is Rockwell, I believe. Um, so that's him. I have a few other stones coming. Um, I will say Hannah and I got like super into stones this year, which is why um, my top 10 is going to be like half stones. Anyway, this is Phoenix. He is a Tweeba. Um, oh my gosh, <laughs> look how dusty he is. Um, he's a Tweeba, uh, special something. Um, I think he was from, like, an exhibitor's dinner. Tweeba is the Tennessee Walking Horse Breeders and Exhibitors Association. If you know anything about me, I love Tennessee Walking Horses. That's the only breed I've ever owned. Um, and this guy is, like, so pretty. <laughs> I've always wanted a chestnut walking horse, and this guy... I've always wanted a chestnut walking horse and this guy is just gorgeous. I got him from Model Horse Sales Pages. Moving up, um, I finally got the Palomino um, ASB from the clock. He does have that peg, so I know he's not the, uh, the volunteer one or whatever. I think there was like 10 of these that were similar um, as volunteer models. But this guy has the peg, so he's he's the clock one. Anyway, um, yeah, he's super pretty. I got him for a really good price, and yeah, he uh, I just needed him for the conga, so that's him. He's super pretty. He's like really matte, 
um, and nice. Anyway, moving up here, I finally picked up a Justify resin and I can't really hold him with one hand. It kind of scares me, but um, this is the Justify resin. He's so cool. I have the American Pharaoh one, so of course I had to have Justify. Um, and I think this picture of Justify is just so cool with him jumping over the puddle. And I think it was during the Preakness, um, but yeah, it's really cool. Um, and then I have American Pharaoh. So moving up here, I picked up a Dixieland Grand Porcelain because I just love this sculpt so much. And it looks like my Mackenzie, my <laughs> my friend Mackenzie's horse. His name is Bling or Bling It On. Um, who's a he's a spotted saddle horse, but um, the breeds are pretty similar. But yeah, this is Dixieland Grand. He's really pretty. I freaking love this sculpt. Um, if this could be actual traditional sized, that would be my favorite mold. <laughs> um, but he's not. He's uh, he's like small classic sized, I would say. Moving on, I bought a Erastus. Erastus? I don't really remember this name, this guy's name very well, but he, I believe, has been in, well, he was definitely my collection tour. Um, but this guy is so pretty. I'm trying to convince Hannah to get one as a replacement for Stormwatch um, because I think he, honestly, I like this guy more than Stormwatch. Um, I've never really liked Stormwatch's face, but that's just me. And I think this guy is just so cute. His, the detail in his hair is just crazy cool. And he's a nice size and he was affordable and I just love him. And he's gonna stay blank for a while probably um, because I have other resins that need to get painted first. So yeah, this is Erastus. I got him from resins by Randy. And he's super pretty. Moving on, I picked up a Tupelo or tu Tupelo. Yeah, I think that's I think that's right. Um, from Summer Prozer, who, if you don't know, Summer Prozer sculpted Bluegrass Bandit. So this little guy um, goes with Bluegrass Bandit pretty well. Um, and I already have color plans for him. Um, he's going to be the same color and markings as my. Um, as our filly from a few years ago, well, I guess, I think she's like six now, <laughs> um, and she was born as like a really pretty chocolate, I'll try to insert a picture, um, but that's who he's going to be painted as, so I'm very excited, he's going to be cute, um, and then Hannah and I were crazy lucky with Maggie Bennett's sale, which she had like a little collection, I mean, it wasn't really little, like she had a lot of stuff, but um, she had like cleared out her personal collection and I was lucky enough to grab the MEM no inhibitions that she had for sale, which when I saw her post that she had one of these that she was possibly going to sell, um, I like freaked out. I was like, there's <laughs> people are going to be freaking out over that. And I'm so glad I was able to grab this horse. Um, I've always been absolutely in love with cover, uh, yeah, cover girl who Jen Scott, Jen, oh my gosh, okay, I need to slow down, I'm sorry, <laughs> who Jen Scott also sculpted, um, she sculpted, uh, MEM and also Cover Girl, so, um, MEM, I do have color plans for her, and an artist picked out, um, so I'm super excited to get her painted, funny enough, she is going to be painted before Vinny, which <laughs> I've had him blank for nearly two years now, I think, I don't know, but yeah, I'm super excited to get her painted and um, I'll probably post close-up pictures of her at some point when she's blank, but yeah. Also, I um, I finally got the rest of my shelves up. Oh, let me see if I can focus. There we go. Um, sorry, they look a little blank right now because there's obviously horses missing, but yeah, I uh, finally finished my room mostly. So that's really nice. I like how they look, so yeah. All right, moving on. Um, holy crap, I just realized a giant flaw in my metal arc. This is metal arc. <laughs> um, obviously, I conga the bluegrass bandit mold. I have a complete conga. Um, there they are. 
and I had to get this girl when she came out. I was freaking out. I personally didn't get pulled for her. I bought her from somebody else who was so, 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 so kind to enter for me. And she is just gorgeous. She came with quite a few factory floss, but um, I have like 25 other <laughs> Tennessee walking horses and spottle saddle horses to show that would show nicer than her anyway. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> She's super pretty either way. And um, I'm very, very, very happy that I was able to get one. Moving on, this was my only actual like Clarion purchase. Um, there's a Clarion Facebook group, which I got this girl from. Um, and she is absolutely gorgeous. This is Bobby Joe. Um, I have been like craving this horse, I guess you would say. Um, like very just impulsively for the past few months. And before I used to hate this mold because of this mane. Um, but I have just been obsessed with this horse recently. I'm so excited to show her because she's like practically flawless. Um, I mean, she might be, I, I haven't found any flaws on her, so that's really nice. But yeah, that's Bobby Joe. <sighs> okay, moving on. I, oh, I got a Copenhagen ASB. Um, I actually traded for him. Um, I'm not going to say what I traded for him, but yeah, uh, I can't believe I finally have this horse, honestly. Um, I used to really, really want the Wedgwood. And in recent years, I have just fallen in love with this one. This is by far my favorite um, vintage deco color. And um, by far my favorite of the 475th anniversary. Oh, no. I don't, why I, I don't know why I say 75th. 30th anniversary um, ASBs. And... He is just super pretty, and I'm so glad I was able to find a trade for one so that I didn't have to purchase, um, because I just, paying that much for a deco does not sit with me for some reason, I don't know, um, but he's just so pretty, and I'm so, so happy to finally have one. All right, moving, oh, also, this brings my ASB conga up to 21, I think, and I have, uh... 19 bluegrass bandits 18 or 19 i think i have 19 bluegrass bandits moving on to actual briar fuss stuff except for the same way that obviously <laughs> um first we have danny who everyone has seen danny um but both of mine came with a ton of flaws we won't even talk about this horrible masking or all her shiny marks but she's really pretty um i have another one in box which I, I don't even know if I want to sell the one that's in box because it's so bad, <laughs> but, um, yeah, she's super cute. She's just a shelf horse. Obviously, I have so many sport horses, it doesn't really matter. Moving on, I picked up a Josie, who I did not plan on buying, um, and then I saw her offside. Well, I mean, technically this is her show side and that's her offside, but her offside, and I just, this bay color is just so pretty. <laughs> um, I'm not a fan at all of this side. Um, she's cool and unique, but I don't know. It just, it's not appealing to me. This is appealing to me. <laughs> um, and Hannah got one in gloss, so I feel like I'm going to be super jealous of that glossy one. Um, mine came with a lot of flaws. She had like really huge shiny marks, which you can kind of see right there um, before. But I was able to get it off mostly, so that was nice. Moving on to special runs. I got a Tassili, who is so pretty. I showed him my collection to her. Um, I got the loose mane and tail, which I really wanted the, the more wari version, but that's okay. He's super pretty. Um, the I said this in my collection to her, I think, but the gloss on the white plastic is just like... I don't know. It just does something for me. Uh, he's really pretty. And then I was so, so lucky. And I also pulled a glossy um, Surratt. And he is so pretty. This horse, when he came out, um, 
this mold in general really his face reminds me so much of my real horse joey um who there's pictures of on my instagram um and yeah so i just i just love this mold and i can't wait to see it in like a classic frisian color um but yeah my uh my Surratt has super nice dapples too so i'm really 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 happy with him and i think i'm actually gonna show him <laughs> we'll see all right moving on to my surprise horses um i think hannah already said this but i pulled two of these pintalusas which hannah really wanted a pintalusa and hannah pulled two of those champagne splashes so we traded one of each of ours so now we have the same two surprise horses but yeah um, that's the Pintalusa, which quickly became one of my top favorites. I really wanted the Sabino, but um, obviously I didn't get one. And I actually really, really like these two now. Um, the champagne is absolutely gorgeous. I'm like obsessed with his eyes. Um, Briar is like not the best with blue eyes, but these on his white face just look really good. So I'm really happy with him. Um, yeah. All right, the last two things which I, I kept glancing at throughout the collection, or throughout the, like, haul, but I just kept forgetting to actually show them. Um, I got the $75 grab bag, and I got this Fjord and that National Show Horse. I don't remember her name. I, she might have an actual name. But um, from what people have told me, they're both samples, um, and not tests, samples. Um... Yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Um, this National Show Horse is, like, definitely a sample. If you look at her markings... I'm bringing her to the light. If you look at her markings, she has, like, actual crisp markings. The actual run of this um, does not have crisp markings like that. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with those two, but they, uh, I have them. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, that is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I have not filmed a video in a long time, so talking this much is making me tired. Um, now I have to do school. So, yeah. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. And I don't know what our next video will be. Oh, actually, I do know what our next video will be. I just, I can't say anything about it because it's a fun surprise. But, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. And I will see you all later. Bye!